Good morning everybody. Welcome back to Pete on Retreat. Today, I'm going back to school. Yeah, that's right, I'm going back to school. It's the first day of class today. I am so pumped. Ah oh, man, my class starts at 9.30. I just ordered a Bolt. Bolt should be here pretty soon. Super excited. I don't exactly know what to expect. I really planned on getting into a language school like my second or third month here. I've been here over five months now and I'm finally getting to it. Looks like my Bolt's just a minute away. Do you guys wanna go to school with me? 40-20, 40-20. All right, here we go. So what do you got? Down and jump in, go to pee for breakfast. Got dropped off. Chum tea in vitro, chai apuric. Peen's just a few shots up here. So, what do you got? Uh, can I have the simple breakfast? Yes. Uh, and can I get the caramel coffee? Yes. Uh, God, thank you very much. So I really wasn't sure what to expect with this first day of school. Uh, when I got my hair cut the other day, uh, Nui asked me if it was going to be a Thai instructor. I assumed it would be, but I didn't know. Turns out, yeah, uh, it's all Thai instructors at the school. Uh, I think they're all women too. I also didn't know what the lesson plan or the structure was going to be at all. Uh, if you've been following my channel at all, you know I've been teaching myself the alphabet over like the last month. I feel like I've got a good grasp of the 44 different consonants so far. And that was an intentional decision I made to focus more on the alphabet than conversational tie. Honestly, I assumed this class would start off with the alphabet too, but no, it is focused on conversational tie. So I'm excited with what I've already learned on my own. I'll continue to work on that. And then I'm also really excited to get down some conversational language as well. We started the class by introducing ourselves and also learning how to introduce yourself uh, to other people and meet other people in Thai. The class is really diverse when it comes to the nationalities of everybody. There was somebody from China, there was somebody from Singapore, uh, we had a woman from Vietnam uh, who's going to school here for other things. Uh, she lives here in Zhang Tien. Uh, three Russians, a uh, guy from Germany, a uh, guy from Canada, um, French area Canada, very heavy French accent. I'm not used to that with Canadians I know. Oh, and then there was a guy from Austria, and there was a Brit, and the only American in the class. Pretty cool. Uh, thank you. 
very excited. My first caramel coffee here. My friend Earl gets them every time and I kind of have a coffee limit per day. I tend to drink all my coffee before I go out lately. I knew I was coming here today so I intentionally only had one cup. As always, it looks fantastic. King Bistro is known for their fresh baked breads. Oh, they've got good sausage. I've uh, never had like the little cold cuts on the side. Oh, so happy. Great start to the day. My very first impressions of when class started was that I was probably ahead of the group for many things. And I mean, in the classroom setting, you kind of all go at the same pace. Um, I felt like I was grasping things pretty quickly. And then that quickly shifted, uh, especially when it was my turn to actually start speaking high in front of the class. My mind just went blank. Uh, I very much need repetition in my life and I wasn't actually repeating a lot of the stuff that was being said at first. I'm just kind of writing it down. Very excited to start applying what I learned today. Uh, after breakfast, i uh, got a little, another treat for myself and I'm gonna go home and kind of reorganize my notes. Nope gave us a goal of learning at least five words a day. Uh, I'm not sure if that just means the days we're in school, probably, which are only three days a week, but I really like that aspect. At the same time, there was much more than five words introduced today, um, so I want to get at least 10 of them down today. I won't be here for class on Wednesday because I'm going back to Laos to fix my visa. But thank you, Immigration, for that 15-day stamp. Uh, but enough about school. It's time for me to eat. A lot of today's lesson focused on the Thai word for what, Arai, what is your name, and then this is my name, uh, and then we kind of went into like what kind of foods do you like, um, we learned a few different random like vocabulary words along the way. Uh, tomorrow's lesson is supposed to focus on two more of like the question words, uh, I don't remember what they were, uh, who and when, or where maybe, was it why? <laughs> You know, why it's a big existential one is probably going to be the last one we learned, right? We went over the five tones and we went over like the phonetic structure that they're going to use in the class uh, as far as pronunciation goes with the vowels. Uh, there's basically long vowels and short vowels and then the five tones and you put those together with consonants, that's how you put words together. She touched briefly on a couple of the more complicated uh, consonants that we're not used to in English, uh, like the BP sound. Um, and the DT sound, those two specifically. Uh, the last part of the class today was talking about the different ways to say yes and no, and just a brief kind of overview. Uh, there's different cases where you use the different things. We just kind of went over them, but she said that's going to be something that uh, gets a lot more focused in the future. The class went around asking each other these new questions that we learned, um, like what is your name, and what is their name, and then answering these questions, uh, asking what kind of Thai food they like, and that kind of stuff, some other little simple sentence structure stuff, and then finally, how to ask, do you understand? I think that's going to be a big important one as I get out in the wild and start using this stuff. I ended up with about three or four pages of notes, and there's the handout that she gave us, so I've got plenty to keep myself busy tonight and go over, and then I'm back in class tomorrow at 9.30 in the morning for another hour and a half. Well, I just came back from my second day of school. I had the full intentions of doing more filming yesterday, but uh, I forgot my camera. After I had my first day of school celebratory uh, breakfast at Peen, I had planned on going to get a massage. Uh, my masseuse, though, was booked for a little bit. Uh, she was doing a pedicure. So I went back to my place and went over my notes from my first day of class. 
I'm uh, recopying all my notes and putting them into a better structure into a notebook once I get home. Hung out for about an hour and a half and then I went and got a massage. Had the full intention to bring my camera with me and sharing the rest of my day with you, but it didn't happen. After the massage, I got home and started printing all the paperwork I need for my trip to Laos today. After printing up all my paperwork, I did some YouTube work and uh, edited up my video about the bulk price increase. That video is live now. Had a nice quiet night at home. Woke up early this morning. I uh, headed off to school. Had a great lesson at school today. Uh, I'm digging the structure of it so far because I'm having to go to Laos last minute tonight uh, to get a new visa. I was going to miss class tomorrow. But today I found out tomorrow's a Buddhist holiday, so school is closed. I take that as a good omen. I'm not missing a day of class. Each day seems to be covering quite a few things and a bunch of extra vocabulary, so I'm really stoked not to be missing it. Right now I'm just off to Chillin' Cafe for a little breakfast. Got a little more packing to do, mostly my computer and stuff. Double check my list, make sure I've got all my electronics and meds and all that good stuff. Then two o'clock, I'm off to the airport. I'm bringing my laptop with me so I could finally get my Cambodia video or videos all edited. I think I'm just going to do one video for my Cambodia trip. I just realized that after uh, two days of Thai lessons, I'm going to Lao. I got to brush up on the very little Luatian that I learned. I mean, I learned how to say hello, thank you, and please. I think that was about it. I'll just watch a YouTube video or two while I'm at the airport. So as always, life is good. I have no complaints at all, even though I've got this forced trip to Lao happening today. So many things could be worse in my life. If you can, please leave me a comment down below. Honestly, it doesn't even matter what you say. Just having that engagement on the channel helps uh, it grow. The algorithm just digs that stuff. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. It's free, and trust me, it's worth every penny you pay. Hitting that like button's really cool too. As always, this is Pete on Retreat, taking my last walk around Prapton Knack for the next several days. I want to thank you all for watching. Wish you were here.